Hmm. One can see this uh, nice strand of tissue what we obtained from the sample. Today we are uh, intended to do uh, transvaginal uh, guided uh, biopsy of uh, leomyomas or uterine mass. Uh, uterine masses. The basic requirement or the mandatory requirement for this procedure are transvaginal probe that too with the dorsal tilt one. 3D vaginal probes are not uh, uh, optimal for uh, doing biopsies and the other one is biopsy guide. This is very essential tool and uh, the third one is long needle length having especially up to 20 like more than 20 centimeters or minimum 20 centimeters length 18 gauze or 16 gauze uh, needle to be utilized for biopsy. biopsy. Then here we will be doing a minimal invasive uh, procedure for obtaining a uh, sample from the target lesion and which can be utilized for histopathological analysis and accordingly the treatment uh, management can be decided. Patient to be put in lithotomy position and uh, sterile uh, precautions must be taken. The perineal area, area to be draped well and uh, it should be cleaned with povidine iodine. We can see here the mass is just behind the posterior wall of the uh, urinary bladder. When we approach the same lesion from the uh, per abdomen uh, route, it is quite possible that we will be, we have to, we must pierce through the both the walls of urinary bladder and enter the mass, which is an indication for the transvaginal biopsy. Here we can see that the head of the trans abdominally also. Trans abdominal root uh, for pelvic lesions which are especially mid, uh, deep uh, pelvic seated uh, lesions we should not do sir because we have to uh, pass through the peritoneum, we have to pass through the other organs like yeah. bowel, other superimposed vessels. So when it is not a clear cut indication for percutaneous trans abdominal uh, root especially when the mass is not directly beneath the abdominal wall then um, better, we have to, to better to go with a transvaginal or transvectal sir. After identifying the lesion one has to Park the probe appropriately in uh, anterior or posterior fornix. Shall you obtain a sample now, sir? Yes. Please hold it nicely. Could you please please? Hmm. Please hold it nicely. This is the true cut biopsy gun we are using. As I mentioned earlier, this is long length needle. This needle length is 20 centimeter. The inner caliber of this uh, needle is 18 gauge. Not the caliber exactly. The inner size of this needle is um, 18 gauze. Here we can see that there is a notch. This is the automated biopsy gun. There is a notch here. In this notch, this notch measures for 2 cm. We will be obtaining a sample in this particular notch. And the first one is the first button is for the sheath, the second button is for the needle, cutting needle, and uh, the needle containing the notch. So, the process what I did is now loading. So I approximated uh, uh, um, the shaft and needle, but we can see here that the shaft tip of the needle is outside. So the mechanism of this biopsy gun is that when I fire, when I release it, this sharp needle will advance the mass and upon that the sheath, is co the sheath covers. So whatever the tissue we get in between the sheath and the needle, it will be settled in the notch, whatever I showed, the shallow groove, whatever I showed, it will be settled there and the, the tissue can be obtained and we can see for adequacy or uh, histopathology. Mm -hmm. I am advancing my needle. Now at this point I am feeling that there is some kind of muscular tissue that uh, resistance I am feeling. Uh, that that is the uh, message for me to that uh, that is the message for me to say uh, to know that it is uh, faced the vaginal wall. And now as I advanced here it is advanced. Yeah. Here it is advanced. Mm -hmm. Here it is, the white one. This is the needle within the mass. Now it has to be retracted. This is a very um, uh, mass with uh, hard substance within, so it, it gives some resistance to me. So, so to obtain the tissue, 
we should be very careful we should not push both the buttons now uh, down only the buttons for the notch uh, the sheet has to be pushed backwards and in the groove what i have demonstrated previously we could able to see that there is some tissue within there this is a strand of tissue we obtained from the mass lesion so this is the target sample i have got to there mm, one can see this uh, nice strand of tissue what we obtained from the sample so it's a myth that via transvaginal route or transrectal route, uh, route uh, it is we uh, like um, uh, insufficient uh, um, material is obtained but in contrary it shows that the adequacy of the uh, uh, tissue what we got here is as comparable to any other percutaneous methods of uh, sampling and this is the easy method here i spent only roughly around 1 to 2 minutes for obtaining a sample if it it was a trans abdominal route i had to be careful to dislocate the organs um states um, are uh, very low with the procedure there are no reported um, complications which requires admission only the probable complications what may happen on this patient is uh, spotting for uh, one or two days or uh, gross hematuria may be there we have to uh, counsel the patient for uh, uh, development of such symptoms and uh, uh, we should ask her to stay calm these complications does not require any hospitalization and other advice what you people will be what we will be uh, given to the patient sir she has to uh, withheld from um, intercourse with uh, the partner for next uh, one to two days and she should not immerse herself in uh, water or she should not go for uh, um, bathing in tubs where uh, it dislodges the clot and uh, which gives her for uh, kind of uh, uh, bleeding or some infection happen with the water source we should tension if she develops persistent bleeding if she has uh, if she gets fever or if, or if she gets vaginal discharge or uh, if she gets a purulent discharge from the vagina that's all